It's Canada's most famous intersection. Young and Dundas is Toronto's Times Square, synonymous with the city and its landmarks. But not anymore. You can never go wrong doing the right thing. Toronto is renaming the street, square, subway, and all other buildings bearing the word Dundas, named after Henry Dundas, an 18th century Scottish politician who rejected a proposal to end the British Empire's slave trade. On favor, carry. Among those in favor of the $6 million name change, Toronto's only black city councillor. But history will remember not so much what it cost us to change the name, but it will remember us whether or not we actually take the right action. Our reputation is on the line. Yeah! Dundas joins a growing list of historical figures to be toppled. Just steps away from young Dundas Square, this statue of Egerton Ryerson was torn down last month. Ryerson University's namesake was an architect of Canada's residential school system. It's not about erasing history, it's just about who it is that we're um, uplifting uh, within our communities. But Dundas's descendants say his punishment doesn't fit the crime. He supported the abolishment of slavery, but promoted a gradualist approach. This has been like a trial where they only heard one side of the evidence. The Dundas debate is renewing questions over which names and monuments warrant removal amid a national reckoning with racism. It cannot be just, let's change the name, let's remove the monument. Let's look at the fundamental way in which we have been representing these people and how we're going to go forward. The city will now launch a public consultation with black and indigenous community leaders to come up with a new name. That process expected to wrap up by around this time next year. Jeff Semple, Global News, Toronto.